We can measure the amount of radiation emission by counting the number of spontaneous decays of unstable radioactive atoms per second. This yields the radiation measurement of Becquerel's. But the radioactive emission rate is not the only factor that is relevant to us as human beings. We want to know how much radioactivity is being deposited into our bodies as a dose. Instead, another unit of measure called grays determines the amount of energy deposited into a material to produce a dose of radiation. Lastly, grays can be transformed into a unit called sieverts, which is modified to calculate the risk of harm from radiation in humans. If there's one unit to remember that's most important for radiation dose, it's sieverts. For the US population, people on average will receive an annual dose of radiation equal to approximately 6.2 millisieverts. Humans absorb radiation differently depending on the type of radiation, the radiation dosage into the tissues, and the susceptibility of the tissues to radiation-induced damage. For example, bone marrow, skin, and gastrointestinal tract cells are very sensitive to radiation damage, with one factor being that they divide more frequently. Other cells, like the heart, liver, and brain cells, are more resistant, and they tend to have less frequent cell division. Recall that we said that radiation is everywhere. It's in our food, water, and even in our own bodies. Most of the radiation is harmless. For example, potassium-40 is found naturally in slightly higher concentrations in bananas. Eating one banana produces a 0.1 microsievert dose of radiation. So you'd need to eat 100 bananas to get the same amount of radiation exposure that you'd normally get on any day from normal background radiation sources. Potassium-40 is taken up more by muscle cells than by other types of cells. So having more muscle within your body will result in more potassium-40. Our bodies also contain radioactive elements like cesium-137 that are not from natural sources. These tend to be produced from nuclear fission. Every second, we are emitting radiation from the decay of thousands of these radioactive atoms within our bodies.